Hello. Welcome to IT Support BD. In this video, I will show you how to create a clientless remote desktop gateway server free and easy way. Remote desktop gateway server creation is very easy. Fast you need to install Linux operating system Ubuntu 20.04 LTS server. Then you will need to log into your Ubuntu server as the root user and update your system, and run the following script to start the installation. There I am using the Azure portal for the virtual operating system. You can use physical machines if you want. I choose Ubuntu 20.04 LTS operating system. Open the 22, 8080, and 443 port on firewall from your network. There I'm using a PuTTY SSH client to connect my server. Now you'll need to connect to your server as a root user. All command and scripts will be shared on the IT Support BD blog page. Blog link shared in the video description. Update your system with the following command. Run this script to start the installation and wait for it to finish. Run this script and download the remote desktop gateway server source code. Extract the file and navigate to its directory. Build the remote desktop gateway server using the downloaded source files. Run this command. Run this command update the installed library cache and reload the system. Start guac with the following command. Create a directory to store guacamole configuration files and extensions. These directories are used in later steps. Install Apache Tomcat. In this step, we are going to install the Apache Tomcat Java servlet container which will run the guacamole java war file and thus serves the guacamole java client. Since it is in Java, we will have to get Java installed first. Run this command and install Java and Apache Tomcat. Download the Guacamole Remote Desktop Gateway Client with the following command. Move the client to the Tomcat web directory. Restart both Apache Tomcat and Guac with the following command. While Apache Guacamole does support basic user authentication via a user mapping.xml file, it should only be used for testing. Run this command and install MariaDB. For this guide, we will use production-ready database authentication through MySQL MariaDB. Install either MySQL or MariaDB on your system. Run the following command to perform the initial security configuration. Run this command to download the JDBC auth plugin for Apache Guacamole. Run this command to extract the tar file and copy it to the following directory. Log into MySQL as the root user. While in the MySQL prompt, change the root password, create a database, and create a new user for the database. When running the below commands, replace any instance of password with a secure password string for the MySQL root user and the new user for your database. Exit the MySQL prompt by typing quit. 
Locate the scheme files in the extracted directory for the JDBC plugin. Import those SQL schema files into the MySQL database. Create the properties file for guacamole. Paste in the following configuration settings, replacing password with the password of the new guacamole user that you created for the database. You'll also want to set the guacamole home directory environment variable in the tomcat9 configuration file. After that, create a user mapping.xml file. This file will contain settings to access the web portal. You'll need a password hash for the user mapping configuration. To generate a password, use the commands. Replace type your password with your real password. That should out a password hash. Copy the hash value to use in the config. Next, run the commands below to create a new user mapping.xml. Then copy and paste the content below into the file and save. This is my remote PC information. You can use your remote desktop information there. Save and exit. Next, restart Tomcat and Guacamole services to apply the changes and restart all related services. Apache Guacamole should now be accessible through a web browser. You can access it from the web browser using the address is localhost or IP8080 Guacamole. You should then see the Apache Guacamole portal to log in. Now I can use all remote desktop computers on this web server. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe to this YouTube channel, and if you face any problems, please comment to me.